So, the Rangers have just sent Anthony D'Angelo to Hartford. And there are a lot of ways to absorb this. If the Rangers are trying to be a winning team, this is a good move. Because you want to play the veterans over the younger guys. They probably want to go back to 12 forwards, 6 defensemen. In terms of Anthony D'Angelo and his development, big thumbs down. Huge thumbs down. Um, yeah, let me, let me just pull him up here. Anthony D'Angelo. This, this is not the smart move for Anthony D'Angelo. Because we've only really seen a sample size. Out of D'Angelo, when you think about it. We haven't really seen him play full-time in the NHL. When he's playing, he's getting sub-15 minutes a game. So we're not, we're not actually seeing him play. Uh, I, don't know. I mean, he looks a little shaky, and that's going to happen. Maybe this is good for him. But I would have much rather seen Stephen Camper or Nick Holden get fucking traded than Anthony D'Angelo get sent down. Because at where the Rangers are right now, we're in no we're in no spot to be sending, you know, NHL ready prospects to the minor league at the age of twenty two years old, when we look like shit as it is. Let the young guys play, because now this is gonna this is going to not only affect the Angels' development but all of our defensemen in Hartford. And let me tell you why. Hartford's depth chart right now. They just sent down Garrett Noonan. Thank the Lord. They have Graves, Barry Glazov. Crawley, Pedri, Gilmore, Pionk. They have seven defensemen in Hartford as it is. Now you have D'Angelo. I mean, they have uh, now they have seven with D'Angelo. Going crazy, I'm getting old. Um, they have seven defensemen now in the AHL. Vince Pedri finally cracked the freaking lineup. He played three games and he has two points in those three games. So now, do you sit Pedri again? Do you sit Gilmore, who who's who actually looks pretty good this year? Oh my God, I you're messing up the depth chart because now you're not only affecting D'Angelo's development, but you're affecting everybody in Hartford's development. The whole point, the whole point of having a better Hartford team this year was to play better, younger players, and having the ones that were NHL ready play in the NHL, so the other young guys could work their way up by playing high minutes in Hartford. But that's not going to happen anymore because now D'Angelo's in the AHL and you know damn well he's going to be the top pairing defenseman down there. Uh, this is just... It, it, and No, never mind. You do have uh, uh, eight defensemen now because we just got Ryan Sproul. That's that's what I was thinking of. Great. So now you're going to have to sit two of Graves, Barry Glazov, Crowley, Pedri, Gilmore, and Pionk. And I don't know about you. I don't think the Rangers got Ryan Sproul for Pumple to sit him considering Pumple was the first our first line left winger uh, so, like, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm at a loss of words. I'm tripping over my words. Uh, I, uh, you know, this is, this is a little, this is definitely frustrating. I don't, I don't get it. I think the wiser move would have been trading Holden or Camper. For, come to think of it, why the fuck is Camper still in the NHL? All right, that, that's my question right now. He's played, he's played two games. Why is he still in the NHL? He's just taking up cap space. So the longer he's in the NHL, the less money we have at the trade deadline. I brought that up before. Why is Paul Carey still in the NHL? He's not playing. He's not going to play. We just waved Adam Cracknell. It just it doesn't make sense. You know, I, I don't know what's going on on the management level at this point. It, it, I, I, yeah, yeah, man. There were smarter ways to go about doing this. And I think waving or trading Camphor or trading Holden was the better way of going about doing it. Holden's played six games. He's a minus three. So he's clearly not finding the magic that he had last year. Oh, my God, man. Something's got, something's got to give. I don't think sending him down was the right choice. Not even close to the right choice. At that. Um, yeah, that's that's ridiculous. This has been a very bad developmental year for the Rangers. We've already lost Kovacs and Trommel. We've literally fucking terminated their contract. So they're no longer Rangers property. So we've lost two of our pretty up there prospects as a start. Uh, Hartford, I don't think, has won yet. I oh, know they they've won a few games. They're won. Uh, Greenville hasn't won. We're fucking 2-6-2. Two, two. 
our young guys are getting no playing time because our coach is a jackass at the NHL level. So all of our young guys are kind of riding the bench. So no one's developing. This has been absolute ass so far for the Rangers. It's been a really shitty year because at this point, you know, I said it yesterday when I reviewed the game from last night against San Jose. We've got to pick a path and we've got to pick it now. Something's got to give. We're at game 10. we got to choose. Are we rebuilding? Retooling? Are we upgrading, downgrading, firing AV? What is going on? Because now, now we're in a fucking scramble. Now you've got eight defensemen in the AHL. Eight of them who are all on a developing level and are all close to being somewhere in the NHL or a top pairing minor league defenseman. So, yeah. The management has to have a sit down and realize what the F they're doing because they look stupid at this point. They're making themselves look foolish. Um, and just as reference, we'll go to Cap Friendly and I'll, we'll see what the demotion of D'Angelo does for us. Not that it makes much sense. And the waving of Adam Cracknell. So... Once Cracknell clears waivers, we'll be looking at a little over $3 million in cap space. Uh, take that as you wish, because that can mean many things, and that could lead to many things. But I don't see anything beneficial right now, because I don't think the Rangers are doing anything. I think they're, they're freaking lazy, and I think they're just going to sit around with that cap space and not try to upgrade anything. Oh my god. I don't get it, man. There's so many things that need to be on, and they're not taking initiative on any of them. Uh, if anything, expect the call up within the next 24 hours. I think they're going to call up, uh, what was his name, Nieves, to play on the fourth line. Although I wouldn't mind Latieri being called up, but I think he's too offensive to be uh, a fourth line call up. They're probably going to call up Nieves to be our fourth line center against Arizona. Yeah, I uh, Pavlik is starting on Thursday, if that means anything at this point. Alright, I digress. Uh, yeah. So again, take it as you will. I think the Rangers are about as confused as we are. And yeah. It's going to be a long, long season. At least the way it looks now. Thank you everybody for watching the video. Hope you're watching. Guys, you're making it. I'll see you all in the next one. Comment down below what you think about the D'Angelo Demotion. Peace.